everyone. So today I'm going to give a small video presentation on how to create an index in SAP HANA Studio and I'm going to use index uh, to actually do a complex customer sentiment analysis by processing and analyzing complex patterns and uh, negation and other things within a text uh, to find out the customer sentiments. So let me uh, introduce myself. My name is Somnath Ray. I'm a SAP Certified Application Associate in SAP HANA. I also have a CPA and a diploma in IFRS. Uh, so here in this slide, I have actually defined the uh, meaning of uh, index. So what is really an index? So indexes are typically uh, created uh, to avoid scanning the entire table to find out specific values within the columns and we all know that in contrast to traditional row oriented tables the columnar storage of tuples in HANA allows scanning of any columns corresponding to the attributes of the selection criteria to determine the matching tuples the offsets of the matching values are used as an index to retrieve the values of the remaining attributes, avoiding the need to read data that is not required for the result set. So consequently, we can do complex filtering and retrieval of data very fast. Uh, so let us move on to the SAP HANA system. So first step which needs to be done is to create the columnar table uh, on which we are going to perform the index analysis. Um, of the text so we have actually created uh, the column nut table uh, through this piece of code like it's very simple create column nut table and it has two columns actually uh, the first one is the ID which is an integer type column and the next one which will hold the text so let's create that uh, let's run this code to create the column nut table uh, so the columnar table has been successfully created and let's refresh the schema to see uh, if we have the columnar table created. Yes, we have the columnar table uh, created and it's text analysis. So let's open the data preview. So we see that there are two columns, ID and text. So let's move back into the SAP HANA system. So now the next step is to insert some uh, rows inside the columnar table. So I have actually uh, already written the code to insert some values within the uh, columnar table. So the first one is like Somnath likes to work for SAP and the next one Somnath dislikes coffee. So let's run these two uh, pieces of lines as codes. So let's move back to the columnar table to see how it looks like. So the two pieces of code which we executed have actually inserted uh, some rows inside the table uh, so let's move back into the SQL interface and so now the next step will be to create the index and so when we create the index we'll be creating the index on the column text within within the table which is text analysis so this is a very simple code create uh, index so I have given the name of the index text analysis and I'm performing, I'm actually creating the index on a specific column within the uh, table. Uh, so, and that is the text column. And then I'm configuring the voice of customer sentiment analysis by writing this code, configuration extraction core voice uh, of customer. And then I'm uh, keeping the text analysis mode on by writing this piece of code. So let's run this code together and let's see what happens. So let's execute this code and let's go back and refresh our schema to see what's going on. So uh, let us open this folder and we see that uh, a text analysis index table has been automatically created by writing, by executing these three lines of code over here. So let's move into the uh, text analysis index table and see the data preview uh, mode of it. So we s the first column shows the ID which is nothing but the primary keys um, of the table which is a text analysis table on which we are doing the uh, index on which we are actually uh, created the index. 
and uh, we see that um, over here uh, let's uh, open it up a little bit more so that we can see it so let we are looking at the first row somnath dislikes coffee that's the text and let's see how it has analyzed it so it has actually identified this line as a sentiment and the word dislikes have been identified as a weak negative and the word coffee has been identified as topic so next uh, piece of uh, row is which is which has been inserted into the uh, text analysis table is Somnath likes to work for SAP so which is again identified as a sentiment and then the word likes has been identified as weak positive sentiment and to work for SAP is a topic and SAP has been identified as an organization uh, slash commercial which is right and let's move over to the column at the uh, far end and we see that uh, we are seeing in this column the TA offset column uh, so let's uh, look at the number 8 so why it is number 8 over here so this is the offset column and let's look at this number 8 and let's move over and we see that uh, it, that it is hitting the dislikes word uh, so basically if we count the positions 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so the word dislike starts from the 8th position so this is actually used as an index uh, to access specific words within the text so that is how it works so now let's go back into the system and let's do something else let us write the code like uh, let us write another let us insert another uh, piece of co uh, row uh, another row inside the text analysis uh, table so I'm writing insert uh, into and let's drag and drop uh, the text analysis table over here and we are writing values and then uh, 3 the number 3 which is the ID and say let's write over here uh, Somnath uh, sorry Somnath really likes to live in New York and let's see what is the sentiment uh, which which has been which is going to be extracted by running this code so we are actually inserting one more row which says Somnath really likes to live in New York uh, so let's run this piece of code and let's go back into the text analysis index uh, table and we see over here that the word really likes so this is sorry so this is the line which we are actually analyzing so it, it has been uh, identified as a sentiment and really likes the word really makes it very strong and it has been identified as a strong positive sentiment and to live in New York is a topic uh, and New York is a locality and New York again has been identified as a region so this is how it works so we are using the index like we are using the offset as an index to uh, analyze specific uh, elements within the syntax so this is how it works and hope you have uh, enjoyed watching this video and if you have any questions you can always email me at cpahana at outlook.com so thank you very much again and see you soon